Greetings again, pick friends. Today we're taking a look at it, laminate guitar picks. Laminate guitar picks are simply guitar picks that were made of two compressed sheets of material. Uh, in most cases, celluloid, but not in all cases. And this uh, material apparently comes from drum shells. And that's verified by the catalogs between 1955 and 65, in which most of them show up uh, in, in the section of those uh, musical merchandise wholesale catalogs that were distributed to retailers. There's sections in there that just shows the drum skins of uh, that you could buy and ask for specifically for your drums. And uh, it shows many of these patterns right here. Uh, we have 14 D'Andrea shapes, three unknown shapes, which I'll point out later, and 10 uh, color pattern variations. There are two Mother of Pearl variations, white and black, and numerous permutations thereof, that is either lighter or darker, white, mother of black. There are seven different sparkle colors, as we see here, and... Uh, one of the peculiar characteristics that goes on with laminates is they end up bent. And the reason they end up bent is because the adhesive between them is stuck to two uh, dissimilar materials, that is, materials of different density, and it just causes them to bend. Something I don't like about these, and I've even tried uh, uh, flattening a number of them, as was the case with this one, and as you could see, that attempt to flatten it, I left it in hot water too long, and it uh, actually discolored it. But that is one way of flattening it, is bringing uh, water to a boil, putting the pick in there for about 40 seconds, removing it and smashing it between two hard pieces of metal. In most cases, it works. Not in all cases. And with laminates with a sparkle, you don't even want to try it because it will, will damage them. So, uh, back to what we're looking at here. At, at the top, we have a sponge grip. Sponge grip, we know we come out, uh, we see sponge grips uh, in the 1967 Grossman, Grossman catalog. And I said that these occurred between 55 and 65. That's true. And uh, this was probably a later edition because this shape here is a shape that goes back to the 47 D'Andrea catalog. But uh, most of these picks are D'Andrea. Uh, and the few that aren't, I'll show you, those few also happen to be the ones whose catalogs numbers or shape numbers I'm unfamiliar with. So you can see the sparkle variations here. I'll hold it up to the light. And uh, perhaps you could see, definitely see the color difference in those. And uh, more sparkle, gray sparkle here, various colors of sparkle here. The mother and plural I mentioned right here. The pattern picks that were mentioned, all, this also being a pattern pick. And this just appears to be white. But I'm going to go ahead right now and start doing some flipping so you can see what happens to the uh, laminates. All these are black on the background. And I'll flip these over. Most are white. This one is blue and red. Feature you don't see too often. Okay, so we see a lot of white there. Flip those over as well. Let's get them all flipped over real fast here and see what we got going on on the other side. Mm, silver on that side and blue on the other. Oh, red, very rare. The only two I have in that uh, style variation. Now, there's a blue one on the other side. Black, that's common. As you could see, black and white patterns on the reverse are quite common. And I believe all these are white. Let's take a look, though. I could be wrong. Yeah, there you go. So this one's a blue on the other side in a blue pattern. Blue solid, blue pattern. A darker blue here, off-color blue. And that pattern there. And the uh, shapes I am not uh, certain about are these two right here. And this one right here. This is cool. 
we have a cork grip. And to get a laminate with a sponge grip, not common at all. So just a brief video to fill you in on the laminates. Uh, you might enjoy acquiring a few yourself for your collection. And I'd recommend at least one or two just so you could have that diversity. And when you go and talk about them and explain them to people or, or just enjoy them yourself. All right, take care for now. Joe Macy, you can find me uh, at Playmore Picks on eBay. That's my handle. Or email me directly, findpick7 at yahoo.com. I'll be happy to hear from you. And, of course, you could always leave a comment here at YouTube. Till the next video, take care. Bye-bye.